It's like, you know, can we really be surprised here? Can we really be surprised? You know damn well we can't have anything special on this fucking program. Especially when it comes to us black people. That motherfucker Vince was like, yeah, it's your Kofi mania, and that's it. Come on now. You guys are for too much. So for those out there that don't know, like, you don't watch wrestling like that, or you live, you live underneath the rock, this dude, Vince McMahon, decides to break up the Hurt Business. Why? No reason. He just felt like, you know what? That's it. No more Hurt Business. And MVP and Bobby Lashley sat there and fought. It was like, yo, come on, Vince. This is like the best thing going since last year. Like, if anything, during COVID, the Hurt Business was like the best faction around. Why why you want to sit there and just break them up now when they're about to reach, you know, a certain a certain status? Like they didn't even really get warmed up yet. They was about to start getting warmed up, but he just he just broke them up. And you already know why he broke these motherfuckers up. A lot of motherfuckers are sitting there and try to you know basically. Not address the elephant in the room. The reason why he broke the hurt business is because he didn't want them to look way too dominant as a black stable. Period. Period. These dudes was only ways of looking better than the nation of domination. Oh, you can't have that. You had the, these dudes with the tag team titles. Cedric, Cedric Alexander, excuse me, Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin as the tag team champions. And you had Bobby Lashley as the, the heavyweight champion, WWE champion, what may have you. That was a dominant. To the point where me and my dude, LaRon Pierce, did a track about the Hurt Business. And you can check it out everywhere, even on SoundCloud. And then you just break them up. It's like as soon as this dude, Bobby Lashley, lost the heavyweight title. No, excuse me, I'm bugging. As soon as he won the heavyweight title from The Miz, you just take the, 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 the tag belts off of Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. And then y'all was already teasing some friction amongst the group already. So not only did you do that, then you just sat there and had Bobby Lashley kick these dudes all out the group. And then, you know, now this dude, Drew McIntyre, he's the number one contender. And then after this dude kicks Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander out the group, you have him basically looking for people to take out Drew McIntyre. Since when Bobby Lashley was scared to death with Drew McIntyre. And if that's the case, why did you break them up in the first place? Isn't that supposed to be like these dudes' jobs? Be like, yo, you know what? Isn't Bobby Lashley like the CEO of the Hurt Business? Have him um, put Drew, um, excuse me, have Drew McIntyre fight these dudes in a handicap match when it comes to Shelton Benjamin and, and um, this dude Cedric Alexander? Why he just couldn't do that? Why is he out there looking for other help, like from, from Akira Tozawa and fucking these, lucha, these luchadors and Baron Corbum? What the f- Why does this make any sense? Like, yeah, and another thing, y'all built this dude as a strong, dominant beast. Now, all of a sudden, he's scared to death with Drew McIntyre, even though he fought Drew McIntyre from before, and he wasn't scared of him. What makes him scared of him now? Oh, man, I can't stand this company, man. I can't. Um, yeah, yes, I am mad. Fuck this WrestleMania season. I'm looking more forward to Stand and Deliver NXT TakeOver, actually. I'm looking more forward to that. And they're going to outshine the um, WrestleMania as like they always fucking do. It, it just sucks that it's for two days, like how WrestleMania is for two days. WrestleMania for two days, I really don't mind too much. But when it comes to NXT, 
You don't need no damn two day um two day takeover for NXT. All we need is five matches. That's it. Everybody go home. I hope you enjoyed the show. Fucking tired of this shit, man. Fucking Bobby Lashley looking for help to fight Drew McIntyre. Now all of a sudden, now now all of a sudden, Bobby Lashley is mad buns. I can't. I just hope this dude retains. I hope Bobby Lashley retains the belt at WrestleMania because why do we need this dude to be champion again? He already had two title reigns. That's it, man. You had your, you had your chance. Bobby Lashley should beat this dude. Get to the back of the line, buddy, and let Bobby Lashley and then start building some new baby faces, some strong baby faces to go up against Bobby Lashley. And that's it, man. Pick your fucking pen up and put Vince McMahon's cock down. Peace out, motherfuckers.